I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for boxing. The Golden Gloves is the best. I have to say that. Not because I won them, but it was a great, great show of, uh, you know, for kids to, to be something, to do something. It was important. It was a big thing, and it still is. You know, I turned professional when I was still in high school. I was 17 years old. I got a make-believe uh, <clears throat> birth certificate that said I was 18, and so I turned pro. Without a doubt, the Lowell Golden Gloves is absolutely the best uh, boxing event every year. And it, it's filled every year. Um, I think it's, it's important that it stays alive. I believe that the Lowell Sun had a lot to do with it. They were the sponsor when I was boxing anyway. You know, they, they kept it forefront. It's, it's big. You have to make sacrifices. You have to get out in the morning, do your road work, get to the gym. You gotta eat right. You can't eat food that you wanna eat. You can't go where you wanna go. You can't do what you gotta do, what you wanna do. It's just, it's a tough business and it prepares you for anything else in the world. You have to make sacrifices and you have to work hard, but you also have to work smart, hard and smart. I think, it's, and I do tell kids, you know, I speak to kids a lot. Um, and I let them know that if they have something that they believe in, they want to do, go after it. Don't be afraid. And as you reach out for success, reach out to help people who need help. And everything will take care of itself. I believe that. I really believe that. If you help people who need help, some way, someday, It'll come back. And it sounds, you know, a little, you know, corny, but I believe that. It's the truth. <laughs>